everyone, Andy here back again with the Odyssey 7Q Plus from Conversion Design. Uh, in this section of the videos, I want to talk about the new recording format supported uh, by the Odyssey. Uh, as you know, uh, the Odyssey can record in uh, standard ProRes flavors, uh, but they've also enabled now a ProRes 444XQ, which is the highest quality uh, compression available in ProRes, so it's great to have it here in the Odyssey. Now, uh, it'll take in a, a 10 or 12-bit 444 signal to record this. Uh, in this format. Uh, cameras such as the uh, C300 Mark II here can actually output a 444 12-bit uh, signal which you can then record directly into the Odyssey. So it's a great option. This is an HD or 2K mode only, but again, very, very high quality for that. It's the best quality possible, really. Um, so I can send that into my, out of my camera here into the uh, Odyssey. To, to, to enable it here in the C300 Mark II, I'm just going to record the menus here for you so you can see that. But basically, you go into your resolution and set that to be 444 12-bit here and then also make sure your your uh, your raw output set, section is set to 2K. So set the, those two and then you're basically you're ready to go uh, and it does expect you to ha be in a C-log uh, mode or a log mode when going there. Now on the Odyssey you go here uh, to the gear windows here again, you choose camera Canon HD 444 to ProRes, great, set that there and then Choose ProRes 444 as the codec and select instead ProRes 4444 XQ. And it reminds you that it really expects log encoded video only. Uh, so once I, set, once I set that, I can leave here and I'm ready for uh, XQ recording 12 bit, basically very amazing hot, hot quality. Um, this will also work on uh, other cameras that output 444, uh, such as the F55, the F5, the F3 actually did it as well. So. Not too many cameras out there that do that, but if you need very high quality video that way, you can do this with the Odyssey. So great options there. Another great uh, option for the Odyssey 7Q, which you may have heard about, is the Apollo uh, option, the Apollo license. Apollo itself is a standalone recorder, separate recorder from Conversion Design, which allows you to send in four HD signals, record all four of those as ISOs, and also output a switch. Uh, so it's a pretty cool little mini recorder in itself. Now, uh, that device uh, and all of those features essentially are a license option within the Odyssey. So the Odyssey 7Q can do all the things that the Apollo can do, plus raw recording and many, many others. So uh, it's additional purchase. You buy that license uh, and enable it uh, on the system. Uh, to turn it on, you just go to the menus here like this uh, into your master camera, choose multi-stream, uh, and then select the Apollo uh, recording option. So let's go ahead and enable it and see what this can do. All right, well, we've enabled the uh, multi-view slash Apollo mode on our Odyssey, and I went ahead and fed in uh, multiple cameras here, the um, FS7, uh, the blog camera here, which is our FS5, as well as the C300 Mark II, all being sent in via SDI in HD, right? So three feeds going in. Uh, the, the Odyssey in this mode can record all four of these feeds at the same time in ProRes, uh, or it can actually record all four feeds plus a live view or quad view mode. Let me show you what I mean by that. If we go into the menus here and go to record streams, I can do a couple things like set the codec, ProRes HQ, ProRes 422, ProRes LT, do that. Uh, but above that, I have this option here where I can choose the streams I record. I can opt to do uh, A, B, C, D only, which is just all the cameras coming in. Or I can do that plus live switch, which basically records uh, a fifth stream, which is which I choose the output of as I go, switch between. Or quad split, meaning that I record all four streams plus just basically what I see on the screen, the split view, right? So pretty cool options. I'm going to leave it in live switch for now and jump back over here uh, and show you how to switch between uh, angles. To do that, uh, notice I have a little green box around this feed here. If I uh, click on this view, you see a yellow box with one click. Click twice, it'll switch to green. Whatever's green is being switched out, right? So if I plugged in an output here, I would see that on a monitor, so it can work as a switcher, and that's also being recorded in this case. So pretty cool option there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a roll on this and switch between a couple different camera angles. Notice it's going red now that it's live, yellow, then red. Live output, okay. Go ahead and stop. Uh, and then go back to playback here. You see as I hit play on this, I can switch between the angles or go to my live switch and see the switches that are happening, right? So uh, pretty awesome uh, options here. 
Uh, it's a multiple recorder in a small box. Uh, this is basically what the Apollo is, right? The Odyssey with this option has all the features of the Apollo and more than the Apollo. Uh, when you put it all together, the Apollo has the license built into it, so it's sort of a lower cost option to get into the door with the features that you want here. But again, very full featured either way you go. So uh, this is another update from Convergent. Really amazed what they've been doing with the product. Excited to see this option. So uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching the series, and we'll see you next time.